What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Master Motors and this is your boy, Daddy. Anyways, today I have another set of Raceland coilovers. Yes, I bought another set of Raceland coilovers but stepped up the game and I got a little bit of an upgrade. I believe these are called uh, Ultimos? Ult Ultimos. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it's called Ultimos which means the last one in Spanish. Not sure why they would name it that but anyways I'm going to do like a little unboxing review because these are a little bit different. I'm not going to do a installation video mostly because I already did that one in one of my previous videos. I can put a link down in the description below and it can send you to my previous installation video. But I do want to show you what it would look like in this Subaru right over here. But I am waiting for these rims to come in. Can't wait to show you guys. I'm super excited. I just ordered them. Got a sweet deal on them. Found a coupon. Saved some money on that. So anyways, let's start unboxing all right so this box you know has raceland under the receipt ish thing the shipping label let's see let's see there we go it says right here lifetime warranty that's great so if they uh crap out on you get a nice little lifetime warranty we got some read before you install oh they're called primo are they called primo I think they're called Primo. No, I don't think these are Primos. I think these are, yeah, I have the Ultimo. So I have the Ultimo coilover kits. The first one that I did a review on was like the regular one. I I, I do want to mention that when I bought Raceland uh, in the beginning, they were definitely a lot cheaper. <laughs> wow. All right, so we got like a nice little box over here. What's in here? Let's see. I know what's in here. Cause I already opened one. Oh, I messed it up. Uh, and I messed it up again. Cute little keychain. Yeah. Oh, it's so springy. It's a matching keychain. This one's a lot nicer than the other one. I don't know what I did with it. I had it over here somewhere. If I look for it, we can do a nice little comparison. But this one's definitely a lot better quality than the, than the red one. The red one kind of just broke apart and I had to put it together with glue. All right. I'm going to play with this toy for a little bit. Just kidding. Now. Wow. Let's uh, unwrap this. All right, so we got some tools in here. We're gonna need these. These are for like uh, tightening and loosening and glorified wrench, but let's see what we got. Wow, these are definitely gonna look nice. Definitely super heavy. I love the color. I love the green with the gold or copper-ish colors. You know, I really don't remember too much of the the other ones that I installed, but it's hard to say because I don't remember. I want to say these are thicker. I'm not completely sure, but I do love this color. I love this green. It looks like they might be already tightened to their appropriate uh, tension because uh, last time these were kind of loose, but these look like they're pretty pretty good and tight, especially under some, some weight in the car. Let's check out this one, the rears. Definitely a little bit lighter than the others, than the front ones. Also, this one might need to be a little bit tightened. In the instructions for Racelands, they wanted, um, you're supposed to just tighten them a little bit, but I like to tighten them to the point where I can't move them too much, just so I have some peace of mind. They don't really give you too many, like, it's like pretty vague. I just try to keep them as even as possible and as tight as I can do by hand, like, Whatever, you know, you get what I mean. I just want to be able to not be able to move this around with just my brute force. But these, wow, man, these are looking pretty sick. I really can't wait to put this in. Oh yes, that's gonna look spicy. Yes. So one of the biggest reasons why I'm adjusting these, well, I'm sw switching over to coilovers on this Subaru is living upstate New York. I need this car in the winter time, in the snow, hoping that having adjustable coilovers, I can heighten up the ride a little bit. So this way is I can go over the snow a little bit easier. Also, I am, you know, getting different size rims, thicker boys. I might need to adjust the height just a tad so I'm not rubbing and scrubbing too much. So do you guys know what time it is? It's going to be some B-roll time. <laughs> Squishy, squishy, B-roll. 
right guys that's all i have for you guys for today bam but uh next time you guys see me i will have these coilovers installed and i'm going to show you guys my new rims i might not have those rims installed man but uh hopefully if i get those rims in time we will be able to show you well i'll be able to show you can't wait super excited it's gonna look fresh but anyways like subscribe my hat is showing like subscribe comment down below and hit that notification button just a little that little bell right there the little jingly jingle dangle thing kind of looks like this it'll tell you when i come up with a new video so this way is you can watch it and then i can get some views on it and you can help your boy out but i'll see you guys next week